Welcome back. It's time to get some help with your New Year's Eve party, the menu. So we've got Chef Christian from Tampa Bay Chef who's here with us. Good morning. Good morning, Lindsay. How are you? I'm doing well. You ready for 2013? I am ready to end the year off with some really good recipes. That sounds good. Good All recipes right. that go with champagne because that's, right. that's the drink of choice, of course, for the new year. I think most people are going to be drinking champagne. So that's why I planned this menu to go along really nicely with it. Um, so the first thing I have here that I want to show you, these are really cool. These are little quail eggs. Okay, okay. and you told me it's, there's nothing to be scared of a quail egg. It's just like a, a regular egg, but smaller. Yeah, it's just, it comes from little, little quails, which is like a tiny little chicken, if you want to imagine that. All right. Okay, so these are going to go on these little tiny pieces of bread. A okay. little appetizer for your yeah. guests at your party. And I'm going to put uh, some smoked salmon on these, just like that. So actually, if you want to put the smoked salmon on that, I'm going to get the little quail eggs started. We're actually going to fry them. Perfect. Now, if quail eggs aren't your thing, could you just use a regular egg? Maybe uh, half it? Well, the whole point for this is that mini. it's going to be mini. So okay. uh, unless you get up in a tree and steal a nest of robin eggs, <laughs> I think quail is that's a nice That's what it reminds me of, a little Easter chocolate eggs right there. <laughs> Okay, so just one piece, you think? Yeah, just one piece per slice of bread. And I'm going to carefully You're crack right, they really these are tiny. quail eggs. Yeah, they're really cool. I like working with these. And you can actually find these in any Asian grocery store. Asian grocery okay, store. Okay, so if you live in Tampa or you live in uh, Pinellas, there's plenty of Asian grocery stores that you can go to. And just ask for fresh quail eggs. And you're literally just cracking it open like a normal egg? That's and it. Just frying it like up. I would a normal egg. Okay. Okay. Now, while these are frying, I'm going to take you through the things. other two things that we have here. This is a Greek style watermelon and feta cheese salad, which Excellent. also goes really good with champagne. And what I want you to do is just finish it off by sprinkling a little bit of garlic. Okay. And then you're going to do today. the uh, fresh herbs there. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to finish it off with a drizzle of olive oil, fresh salt, and pepper. Or I should say, fresh pepper and salt. Okay, so I'm going to finish off these eggs. These don't take too long, about a minute or so. And we should get these. Oh. So I better hurry up. <laughs> you still have time. Okay. All right, and I, I assume if you have a spoon, that might be a, a better idea so it doesn't get all over your hands, correct? Well, you know, I, I know that you're very neat and you're being very <laughs> careful about this. You don't uh, want to waste it. I want you to take your neatness and cut it down by, <clears throat> by half and just get in there and, and just... Hurry it up, okay. Throw some stuff on it. All right. Okay, now I'm putting the little eggs on the smoked salmon. And then what do you put on after that? Then we're going to put on, you can put on lots of different things. I have two options that you can do. Okay, you can put some curry mayonnaise, which I've brought, or you can just put some fresh chives. Okay, so for a couple of these, okay, I'm going to put some fresh chives on top of the eggs. And I wanted to make these recipes just really easy. Because, you know, you want to spend most of your time entertaining your guests. You don't necessarily want to spend time cooking in the and kitchen. And most of these, I mean, you can get ready before your guest even gets here, right? Yeah, that's right. So I have a little bit of cream mayo here. So I'm just going to do a little bit here. Nice little presentation. Yeah, so you have two options. If you want to go the extra mile and make cream mayo, you know, you can. If you just want to put a little bit of greens on there, that's all you need. But this is all that you need for this really cool little appetizer. Great. Yeah. So and we've we got another one finished. up here. Yeah, these are fresh oysters, okay. okay, and what I'm going to do there is called a mignonette. Now, a mignonette is a flavored vinegar. Now, okay. in this case, I have a white champagne vinegar, which may sound like it's probably hard to find, but it's not. You can find it at most uh, grocery stores. What now, about the fresh oysters? Probably most grocery stores, too? Uh, usually so? like a seafood store. Seafood, okay. But here in Florida, it's not a challenge we're at all. We're lucking out with that. So I'm going to put a little bit of shallots in there, and we're going to put a little shot of champagne. Which you already have. That's to go right. with the menu. And that's all there is to making really nice oysters. So uh, this actually is not ice, this is rock salt. So it makes the oysters look like they're on a bed of ice and it keeps them firmly in place. That's a great idea. Yeah. And that, the flour, right? That's a flour in the middle? That's a lemon peel flour just to make it look extra Beautiful. nice. Beautiful. And what do you do with this? Do you pour it on top? Yeah, you can take a little spoonful, put a little spoonful on each uh, oyster and just, you know, shoot it back. Perfect. Now. You've got the champagne, but mm -hmm. maybe you want to spice it up a little too. What do we have over here well, for a fun option? Well, champagne goes really good with most fruits, but in this case, I thought a little pomegranate would taste really great, and it gives you antioxidants at the same time. Excellent. Well, we'll see you, I guess, next year. That's right. Thanks for coming by. Should we cheers? We should do a New Year's cheer. 
Sure. Thank you very much for having me, and I hope that your next year is way better than this one. I hope Even so, Even though this too. year was probably really good for you. It was a good year. Cheers to you at home Cheers. as well. We'll be right back.